Number 71. Calculate the volume of oxygen required to burn 12.00 liters of ethane gas, which is C2H6, to produce carbon dioxide and water if the volumes of C2H6 and O2 are measured under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. Okie dokie. So, seems like here, we're looking for the volume of oxygen, and they're giving us information about another compound. Whenever this happens, when you're looking for one thing, and they're giving you information about another thing, we have to write a balanced equation. Now, seems here that this is a combustion equation, right? They said the word burn, burning is combustion, they gave you a hydrocarbon, we're burning it in oxygen, and the products are carbon dioxide and water. So the first thing is, let's just write it out. So it seems like C2H6 plus the oxygen. Now remember, oxygen is a diatomic. So O2, right? Oxygen is one of your diatomics, can't exist by itself. It's producing out carbon dioxide, so CO2 and the water, which is H2O. Now this is going to kind of be a little refresher. This is just balancing equations. You could pause the video to see, you know, to work through your own balancing and just see if your answer matches mine. I'm just going to do it a little quickly. So here I go. I have two carbons on the left side. So I'm going to put a two here to match that. I have six carbons on the left side. So I'm going to put a three here. And oh boy, <laughs> looks like we're going to need a fraction. Right, I have four oxygens here plus three is seven total oxygens. In order to put this down, it's going to be a seven over two in the beginning. But then remember, you have to multiply the whole equation by two to get uh, the fraction out of it. So I'm going to say that we have two of these. This now just turns into a seven. Two times two is four. And 2 times 3 is 6. And now my equation is balanced. That was a quick conversion. But if you guys need a refresher, we have tons of videos in there if you go to the Chapter 4 playlist of the 2E edition. So all the equations are there for you guys, okay? Now let's just list what we got, right? We want to find the volume of the oxygen. That's this. So V equals question mark. And the only other number that they told us was that we're burning 12.00 liters of ethane gas, which is this. So I have this one. 12.00 liters, right? Now, how do I go from that this to that, right? They didn't give us any other pressure or volume, but they did say that the C286 and the O2 were measured under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. When this is the case, when you're under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, your mole ratio can equal your liter ratio. So all you have to do is basically treat these liters or treat the volumes as a mole ratio. And maybe I'll just get rid of liter and I'll put volume ratio, a V ratio. Because it doesn't really have to be in liters, per se. It could be in milliliters. So, start with what you're given. I have 12.00, and that's liters of the C2, H6, right? And now times by the ratio. Now, you can use your mole ratio to solve the problem, right? Liters of the C286 go on the bottom, and the liters of O2 goes on the top, right? And just use these numbers as if you would with your mole ratio. O2, there was a seven in front of it, so I'm gonna put a seven here. And there was two in front of the C286, so I'm just gonna put a two here. And then there you go. Liters cancel out. And now you're left with the liters of O2. Now, technically, you could have said mole, you know, mole and mole. But I like to write it as liters because it nicely cancels them out. So let's see. So 12 times 7 divided by 2 is 42. So technically, you should have four sig figs. So this should be 42. Whoa. 
we'll do 42.00, and that's liters of O2. And there's your volume of oxygen, 42.00 liters of O2. All right. That one was pretty easy. So just know if you're under the same conditions of temp and pressure, all you're doing is you're just using your volumes as mole ratios. Just use your coefficients. All right. So hopefully this helps. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please press the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates. It just gets the word out there. We really do appreciate you guys. And we hope that we are giving you great educational content. All right. So I will see you all in later lessons and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.